Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got an awesome rig rundown today. We've got a truck here. I'm saying truck because the number plate says truck. I'm not lying. Fresh off the boat from Darwin. Let's get into it. All right, guys, that's right. We're here with another rig rundown. It's been a few weeks, but I thought, why not? This is a fresh build. Not many people have seen it, eh? It's just been done. Yeah, it's just been done, yeah. And it's just moved from Northern Territory to the Sunshine Coast. So we're going to hook straight into it. Um, I want a big thanks to Bendix for sponsoring this video as well. So if you want to find out how to win a complete ultimate brake upgrade for your four-wheel drive, jump over to the Bendix Instagram page. But I'll tell you a bit more about how you can win that towards the end of the episode. But before we get into everything inside the engine bay and all the fruit, Let's just start with the outside and we'll go from there because there's so much on this yeah. thing I can already see. So let's hook into it. What do we got on the front here? So we got the Rhino bar. Um, that's yeah, that's their newest bar. Um, yeah, and then we got the steady um, spotties. They're, oh, they got the changeable awesome. rings and yeah, stuff. Yeah, they, they, they got all fancy stuff. with their colours. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Running a, um, a Shepherd winch. Yeah, I've literally just thrown that in. It's not even wide up yet. I've never seen that. Bright cheap. yellow Sherpa. Is yeah, it Sherpa? yeah, Sherpa. Never heard so of that. This is nine thousand pound. Yep. They're um they're from Perth. Oh, okay. Freaking awesome. All the reviews, they reckon they're right. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Give it a crack, then, something new. Um, yep. And then running the Dan's custom lights. Yep. Halos. The halos. Yep. They're HID, so yeah, he did a good job there. Yep. Just the big Rhino bash plate. That's all part of that kit. Eh? It comes yeah. with the whole kit, yeah. And there's, I reckon they're a good, solid-looking little bar now. Yeah, no, it's fat. This is the same bar I've got on the 80 because they look bloody schmicko. Oh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> it's run around this side because yep. this is where the snorkel is. The whole paint job, it looks badass and top secret. Well, it's not top secret because I'm about to tell you. This is the colour I want to paint the 80. Once the wrap's done, it's round of a couple of years or whatever. I want to do want to strip it off eventually and paint it in sole red. And I asked, what color was this? And you said it was the soul red. The Mazda soul so red. The Mazda, yep. it pops, man. Yep. You put some polarized sunnies on, she just, what do you say, about 50 different colors Yeah, it's about are? 50 different shades yeah. in it, yep. And Boy, the mafia's arrived, oh my God. Oh no. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get rolled, boys. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh, say hello to the fans. Hey. <laughs> How's going? We do? Yeah. Oh, you comment below if you want me to film a Pajero. See you later. There he is. Looks muddy out there. Well, it's a little bit wet. Oh, where, where are we? That was good. Cool. Right, so, <laughs> the sole red, it pops. Now, if you watch part one, this used to be, well, champagne, silver or whatever, yep, then it was silver. bright yellow. Bright so yellow, yep. Had yep. a few different colors. Yeah, she um, she had a few few makeup changes. Yeah, it looks good now, but yeah, that's I for love sure. this. This is way, way awesome. Ah, my girlfriend actually uh, picked the color. She yeah, nailed right. it, absolutely nailed it. I was yep. like, oh, a bit. Bit optimistic about it at first, yeah, and then you, we slapped you it see on. those Mazdas like, oh. come around the corner and just grabs your eye. Yep. Eh? So on a four, especially with the '79 bonnet. Obviously, that's been done as well. We didn't mention that. So that's yep. a full steel bonnet. That's full steel bonnet. Yeah, that one there's fully been done steel. properly. Um, my mate Dan up and down. Um, he's he's pretty much done all the fabrication on it. Yeah. Um, and then uh, transfer. So Paulie and the boys. Thanks, man. You made this thing look the way it is today. Yep. Oh, it's really nice. Um, snorkel, that was made by who? Uh, Psycho Performance. Yep. That's their four inch. It's got the high flow box and all that stuff. Yep. So, and their front mount intercooler as well. So. Yep, sweet. Yeah, bought the whole kit. Just flares, obviously. Yep, snake racing. Yep, flares. Got snakes. Got yep. some clear view mirrors. They're the new yep. ones, they're aren't they? are the newest ones. They're telescopic and they're, just, and they're a lot smaller than the actual old ones. Yep. So. No, they do awesome. look good. Yeah. I need to get a set out of my mind. Yeah. Sliders as well. I got all the protection yep. going on. Oh, ledger good. Legends. They're, they're yep. The Legend just, decks. Yeah, I just, thought they just made exhaust. That's what I thought. I'm running Barney's all exhaust over it. Too. Barney goes good. <laughs> yeah, so we got the Legend decks, sliders. Yep. We've got a roof rack. That thing looks badass. Trail Max. Trail yep. Max. Never I've, seen that I've before. never seen one of them before either. Yeah. Um, my mate Joe uh, from Outback Auto has actually put us onto this, and my, my girlfriend chose that too. She's like, "Oh, have you seen these?" I was yeah. like, "No way, that's awesome." Yep. So, and, and you mentioned in, in part one you were going to put a rooftop tent up there. Yeah, so yeah. is this just a storage thing for now? Uh, so that's it? actually a Yakima um, fishing rod holder. Oh, so right. I've got eight fully rigged up uh, fishing rods in there. Yep. And so as soon as you pull up, unlock, and then go fishing. Oh, I've never seen that. A proper yep. like waterproof case yeah. of fishing rods. Yeah. <laughs> and you just throw them on the roof <laughs> somewhere. Just launch it in the back and send it. Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, that's sick. All, All right. Beans. Well, that's kind of most of the outside. We're going to get into wheels and tires when we do suspension. So let's jump into the back and see what's going on with the tray and canopy. All right, so we're here with the tray and canopy. Now, this is a whole new addition, actually. It's only the tray's only yeah. been on for a few weeks. Yeah, it's only been on uh, for about 12 weeks. Uh, pretty much the Friday night before we left down, I bolted on at 2 in the morning. Yeah. And then 
just That's floated it. to the east coast. So. so was it built for you or did you find it, pick it up secondhand? Uh, no, we, we, bought the, we bought the tray secondhand and um, it's a Morrison fabrication tray and canopy yep. and um, the mate Dan, um, yeah, we well, we yeah, we fabricated Made the hell that. out of it, man. Mm. Put a water tank in it, a drawer, all the jerry can holders, gas yeah. bottles, all the that stuff. The thing I noticed that I don't see in a lot of other cars is like everything has a place and everything's got a purpose. Like yep. even just these lights, like <laughs> yeah. there's a proper yeah. steel pivoted bloody mount just yeah. for the light there. People yeah, they're all alloy. Bolted. Everything's yeah. alloy the whole train. Yeah, it's yep. super flash. So yep. we'll run around the side. We'll, yep. we'll have a quick look in here. So yep. it's, this is sort of, is this, this your camping side? Yeah, or? so this is our camping side. This is our kitchen side. It's so all the cook cookware stuff. Um, yep. Yeah. The girlfriend, she wanted the, even the kitchen sink. <laughs> is um, everything included in the kitchen sink? Everything included the kitchen sink, got the cooktop. Oh, that's, just where'd you get that? I want um, that in the 80. I want something sleek yep. that's like a cooker. That is a drawer. Yeah, so it's that's a Dometic. A um, it's a Dometic cooktop. Yeah, right. So um, yeah, we found that on the internet. Yeah, just whack the gas in the bottom. And yep. Yeah. yeah, so I just got the quick fitting that just goes straight to the bottom. Yep. yep. So I had to keep it all compliance as well. So yeah, you can't run it. Fixed. Run it. Yeah, feed. But um, yeah, just got to plumb up the water for the sink, and she's all ready to rock and roll. But yeah, that's that's one of the best additions we've got. Yeah. Just pull up. Cook some snags. A few drawers okay. of storage. Yeah, that top one's got a little something going on too. Yeah, eh? so because it's so tall, like you can't really see it. So we're like, oh, what do we do here? So we brought it all the way out and yeah, put a bit of a drop slide on it as that's well. That's thinking. Yep, so you can get in there. And yeah, because my, my, my partner's a bit short, so she wanted to yep. get in there. And then mm -hmm. I guess this is just so it doesn't bang. Yeah, on just the so door, it doesn't yeah. hit the doors when you when you're flexing around. Because yep. it's got the soft closing drawers on it, so yep. they just close themselves oh, nice. and happy days. Sweet. All right, we'll keep running around the side then. Yeah. Where were we? Had the mafia come again on bikes this time. This place is crazy. All right, so we're moving around the back. This is where I started seeing all sorts of different things, like even cool these little stuff. Max Tracky holdy thing, like yep. that's full built in. Yep. And it just pops down, you lift them out. Yeah, so, so it just it got the lock, so it just pivots down, yep. and uh, we built that so we could lock the tire in. So oh. you physically cannot pull that tire out without pulling this out. So it's actually on yeah, a right. um, just your drop slide hinge. So you see them up there, just oh. drop down, pull them out, and it's when they're dirty, life. you know, yeah, yeah, oh, oh, darn steal your wheel. Oh, if it's not bolted down, man, it's gone. <laughs> Gas bottle is bolted yep. down in there. Got a good gas bottle that's bolted, got the locks on it, so yep. no one can steal that. Um, I've got a um, chain that I just put over the jerry can holders. Jerry's, yeah. That's it. I do like how there's space to you throw a chair yeah. in there or whatever. Yeah, all the chairs and just crap. all your dirty stuff, you know, yep. like when you're going out for drive and recovering and stuff. Are these cup holders? Yeah, so they I just um notice that. So they're um on the side. The drop side, so that's so you can have another bench top, you've got oh, a Yeti that's holder. The go, yeah. Yep. So both sides have got it. Because um, we've got the fridge and everything around there, so yeah. we pull out the bar. This here is just for kitchen side, just the kitchen side help out cook and stuff. Cool. So yeah, all thinking of everything. Yeah, yeah, we gave it all a go. Um, it's even got a little. A lot of people don't know, but it's got a little hidden drawer, a little nice little yep. added feature. Yeah, I was running that. Every just, drawer in it. It's not too bad. It's just a half tray. Yeah, well, it's obviously short because it's got a lot. Is there tanks under there? Yeah, got a, got a 60 litre yeah. belly tank, so just just for grey water, just yep. to wash the dishes and stuff. Yep. And if you get a bit dirty, just hose it down, and then yeah, just the X bar for the extra recovery point. Yep. And then yeah, and then had to put the big flaps the on. And nah, the number plates. Yeah. I can't like you just never see that. I who who that. in Queensland's got truck, but in Northern Territory, I guess there's just less population. You can kind of jag yeah, it sometimes. Yeah, just just jag. Have you had them for ages, or you got them um, recently? Yeah, I've actually had them for about probably two years now. Still. Two to three years. No one had yeah. claimed truck. No, nah, that's that's. <laughs> I went to MVR and I was just like, oh, is this actually available? And they're like, yeah. And they, they were even surprised. They're yeah, like, like, in the NT, I thought a truck would be gone. No shit. But that's crazy. believe it or not, they're um they're on a vehicle here in Queensland and they're on a red Commodore, Holden Commodore. You're kidding. I'm like, oh they're no. A Commodore. Yep. If you're watching, what are you doing? Um, so, all right, we, there's, is there a box on the other side? Too? Yeah, yeah, so, so yeah, that's just toolbox that yeah. side, and then um, this one here just holds the air compressor, yep. um, the water tank. Yep. Haven't wired that up yet, as, yep. as the tray's only just been bolted on there. Nah. So, so yeah, good. that's just hiding all that stuff in there, all the goodies. A couple of outlets here, so is, is this, we'll get into the electrical, I guess, yep. inside, but this is to charge. Is there an inlet and outlet? Or is uh, it? Yeah, so the, these here are two outlets. Okay. Um, so my partner, she's a coffee fanatic. Yeah. So the reason why we built this side is for the bar. Yep. And you put the coffee machine, make coffee every plug morning, it in, plug yeah. it straight in, happy days. So That's house power, 240 volts, ready to go. So there's an inverter in there. Let's get into that. Yeah, we'll see what we've got going on. this bad boy. Check it all out. So, um, yeah, we're actually running the Enerdrive um, adventure unit. Yep. Um, we haven't finished wiring this up yet, but um, yeah, so that's the inner drive with a uh, 2000 watt inverter. We've got the 200 uh, lithium battery yep. all mounted in there. Um, okay. We pretty much built this canopy around this fridge because I wanted to run the 95. I didn't want to. <laughs> it's so big. Yeah, I didn't want to run small. <laughs> so yeah, it's, we're inside here. It's, it's just. Oh, at least you can have a freezer as well, you know. Yeah, that's, like... that's the biggest thing. So when we go off grid for a few days, 
Well, a lot one. of guys run two fridges, so yeah. one big one smaller than two separate yep. ones anyway, so. Yeah, that's it. But yeah, see, it takes a lot of space up, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, so we pretty much built built the canopy around this and yep. had wasted space, so we just made the Dashi table holder up top there. Yep. Um, just got all the LED lights in it, and that's about yep. it. So what are the switches on that panel? They just outlets and they yeah, add just, them. Yeah, yeah, they're all the outlets, all the circuit breakers and stuff. Yep. So um, one's going to be for the air compressor, the water yep. pump, just all, all your basics. So yeah, obviously inverter, it's 2000 watt, which you've wired into those outlets, yeah, plus those. the one here. Yep. There's yep. a BCD, it's so like a um, DC DC from your vehicle. Yep. Is there DC, a 240 DC. inlet yeah. as well? Yep. Yeah, 240 inlet as well. Yep. Um, just got to um, mount the plug up there so I can yep. just plug it straight oh, in. It'll go out here. Yeah. Man and drive units, they're, they're just amazing of yep. how how great the technology is. Yeah, yeah. And from back in the day, you know, to now. So how much like electrical is in the cadaver dual battery in the car? Or you just use Yeah, this? so I've, I've got dual battery in the front for all the spotties so and the yep. winch and stuff, but yep. um, this here is just for the house, pretty yeah, much yeah. house power. So we've got lights in the, um, in the rooftop tent, fans yep. and all of that stuff. So yeah, go. got all the fruit. Yeah, so I guess the last thing on this is just, yeah, like the awning and then what tent are you gonna get? Uh, so we're actually um, upgrading to a Bundu Tech uh, yep. rooftop tent. So they're the tents that you just hold a button for 35 seconds and it All sets right. itself up. Super flash. Yeah, yeah, trying to. And then this is just the 180 Bush Company. Yeah, so I've got two, two, um, two of these, one on each side, so 180. Yep. So it covers pretty much both the sides of the side, car. Yeah. And then um, with the rooftop tent, we just enter through the back. Yeah. Because we didn't want, um, I've seen a lot of guys where they, they access their rooftop tents from this side, but you yeah. always gotta shut your door, so yep. you, you're limited. So yep. that's why we just access through the back. Yeah, no, why not? And we just Sweet. got heaps All of right. shade. Little antenna here, the yep. radio. Little UHF. I guess while we're talking about that, let's jump inside, we'll see all the tech in there, and then we'll go under the bonnet. I didn't do my hop-in scene. I normally do my hop-in scene. That's all right, we're in. <laughs> we're we're in. inside. First thing I notice is it's, we've all sudden gone back in time. So this is an 09, did yep. you say? 2009 model but, Alex. The outside, what you've done a facelift on. Yeah, it. so I put the 2012 facelift on it. Yep. So it's just got the better lights and yeah, just yeah, it gives it a li little bit more. A bit newer. Yep, a little bit more edge. So what's been added in here, this side looks pretty factory, all your bits and pieces yep. stock from Toyota. So we've added some gauges, a yep. Red Arc. Um, Boost and EGTs. And then water of, temp. Yep. And that's, that's you've actually wanted. put the buttons in the yeah, yeah. No one ever does that. <laughs> the little program buttons, that's crazy. That's, yeah, there just you go. try to make it look all uniform. Yeah. So. Grab handles. Yep. So there's a ton of them. Yeah, yeah, there's a few of these. My um, yeah, my girlfriend makes these. And she actually made them. That's yeah, cool. she actually fluked it. I'm That's actually quite impressed with them. Yeah, they look flash. Yep. Um, and then yeah, so we're moving into some extra stuff yep. in here. So. So I just got the Garmin Overlander. That's one of the best um, GPS systems yep. that I've I've come across. Yeah. Okay. Um, Everyone uses like Hema and VMS or whatever. But yeah. yeah this year has all the dirt roads and all your yeah. free campsites. Everything all programmed, ready to rock well, and roll. Well, the history of Garmin's a lot of like just bushwalkers. Yep. Like it's really come from that yep. background rather than four driving. So they've well, got can, a lot of data. Yeah. Well, I can take that off and run it mm. in the boat. Yeah, and, right. And it does all your maps and charts on the on the, out in the sea and stuff. Yep. So it's pretty cool. That's the guy. This is their newest one. And then um, yeah, so just got the Pioneer head unit. Got a little bit of a sound system in it. Yeah. Um, yeah, we uh, my partner and I fully um, sounded in the doors, the floor, ripped everything yep. out, cleaned everything, and yeah, nice so, and quiet. Nice and quiet. Got the sub behind the back, yep. the back seat there. So sweet. GME, so yeah, the GME. XRS radio. Yep, XRS. That's kind of the standard. Everyone, Everyone runs the XRS radios. Yep. They're, well, they're just doing the good deals. Like oh, every yeah. time on autobahn and stuff, you yep. know, and, and super cheap, they're running like awesome deals with. Are you this. one of those guys that leaves a bloody sticker on? Believe it or not, that's, uh, that's actually just been pulled out of the box, so it's me. Oh, there. so I can do it! <laughs> go, go, go. Oh. oh, brand new! It'll never be the same again. Top of the gym. Now you get one finger on it. You. <laughs> 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 that's so um, yeah, I like how you've kept it fairly clean because there's a bit going on in this car. Obviously, there's a lot yep. of accessories. A lot of engine work and that, but it still looks flash. It's not a t people just put buttons and crap everywhere. It yep. gets a bit hectic. Just so. trying to keep it all slick. So we yeah. got all the spotties wired into the one one, one switch, switch yep. instead of having like 50 million switches. Mm. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yep. All right, let's jump out of the bonnet and have a look under there. Poor bloody! Sh oh, he's got it yeah. everywhere. I didn't even know that was on there. <laughs> what else can we peel off? As new? Let's just keep peeling everything. <laughs> I'm seeing yellow here. Yeah, just a little bit. And then I'm seeing silver. There's a few different colours going on. The bonnet's black. A few bit of colour scheme. Anyway, pretty stock looking in here. <laughs> We've got more. Oh, we've got more, more mafia. mafia. Oh, the Pajero oh, crew. Pajero boys. All right, so I don't know a ton about Hiluxes. Um, obviously, every car I build, I learn more and more about them. I've never had a Toyota until the 80, so I don't know anything about Hilux and motors. So, something about 1KD, whatever it's called. That was a cut. He was making sure we're all right because the bonnet's open. And there's Bill Not Bought written on my shirt, so I thought he's obviously broken down. <laughs> <laughs> we broke something for sure. We broke something. What are you building? 
So yeah, engine codes in that. So what is this? What's it out of and what was in here? So this is its stock motor. Um, it's the 1KD 3 yep. litre, uh, just it. a four cylinder. Yep. A little cutie. Um, but is it the motor this that was in this car originally? Yep, yep yeah, this is the original motor. All it is is um, I cracked the piston number Steve three. So, pulled um, it out, yep. so we pulled it out, did a full rebuild. Um, yeah, held up and down there, did, did the full rebuild. Yep. Um, we've tweaked it a little bit, just a few mods here and there. Yep. Um, we're actually running the V8 Land Cruiser injector pump, so the uh, three-row oh, okay. pump that goes on. Twin. Yep. Yeah, yeah a little bit of. Um, it's just like a gear that you got to add onto it. Yep. And all so bolts. Did in. you do a full piston and rod upgrade? Or yeah, just, yeah, yeah. So yeah. we've um, so we've got all brand new pistons and stuff. Um, custom ground the pistons because yep. with the Hiluxes, uh, they got like a little crown on them. Yeah. So that they normally snap. So we, you grind that off and changes your compression ratio yeah. and stuff. That side of things. That's why I got Howie to do it. I was just like, mm. yeah, nah. Engine give stuff. it give it to somebody that he can do right and yep. it's done right the first time haven't had any dramas with it at all yep um yeah just so what else it. has been done uh running the g turbo 300 turbo yeah um, got the psycho performance front mount intercooler um dual dual fuel system or yep. fuel water separators just keep the diesel as clean as we can yeah all catch can um yeah, uh, upgraded injectors. So I think we're running like the plus 80s or something like that. Yeah. Injectors, not sure. But it goes all right, it's cute. It's got yeah. a good power, so. Has it been dyno? Uh, yeah, so um, Just Autos, uh, they they did the tune for me last and yeah, yeah, was happy with it. They actually, they cleaned the tune up real well. So yeah, they, they're pretty good hard. at that, eh? Yeah, yeah they're they, awesome. They make them use the fuel rather yeah. than just over. And over then just let them fall out the exhaust and yeah, there's like just, $50 down the drain. Yeah. They actually use it, so it's, yeah, it's good. So what, did, what was the power and torque and everything? Uh, so we made 350 and um, it's got 650 newton meters yep. of torque. So yep. that was just safe tune all day, every day. Does it have any gearbox stuff going on? Uh, yeah, so um, it's got a custom built uh, four speed um, Hilux transmission, yep. um, big stall converter. Um, yeah, all, all the fruit inside the box so just, to, just to handle it. A lot yeah, of them are manual speed. normally, eh? so to do an auto, but to do an auto right, you got to build them up. you got to so. build it. Oh, you can run any Hilux manual behind it and yeah. they just turn into glass. Yeah. Yeah. They, they're just so weak. I've they're actually good. went through three three manual gearboxes yep. before I convert it to an auto. Yep. <laughs> um, so the autos to go. It just the yeah. crisps cost so much to build autos. Though. It's yeah. crazy. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's such ridiculous. wizardry stuff though. Well, Inside an auto box is yeah. like so much going on. <laughs> well, trying to find a four speed auto these days oh, is yeah. just next to none. Yeah. Like. All right. Well, yeah. So that's done. Auto. All those mods. It's called the radar, looks aftermarket. Dual battery all system. Yeah, so we spoke about that before. Yep. So that's that runs all like your spotties and yeah, stuff. Yeah, just the spotty and the winch and stuff like that, just yeah. so I'm not laboring the actual main yep. start battery too much. Alrighty, I guess the last thing to look at is underneath this thing, suspension, Have diffs, a whatnot. Have a look yeah. at that. No worries. All right, looking at uh, suspension and all that, we'll do overall lift and stuff, and we'll look at wheels and tires as well. So, yep. what's it sitting at? Is there a body lift too? Is uh, it... So, no body lift because uh, yeah, right. it's fully engineered, uh, had it fully mod. Um, so, the guys up at LNS Suspension in Darwin, um, yeah. Lockie, he's amazing at, at yep. suspension work. Uh, it's an old Pro Comp um, bolting kit. Yeah, okay. So, it was a five inch, and then he's just tweaked it. So, it's actually sitting at eight, and yep. then to, to fit the 35s, we haven't yeah. even chopped the body. Crazy. Nothing man. like that, what people do. But, uh, don't get me wrong, if I go on full flex it does scrub yeah but I, I haven't had to chop anything yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's to go trying to avoid all that eight inch lift that's eight crazy inch. it does sit very high yeah, I'm like, it's not bad <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah they, those rims look sick fuel. yeah so they're, they're the fuel rebel um yep. they're the bronze bronze rims yep um then just the nittos ridge uh ridge grapplers yeah sweet um i've ran mickey thompson's bfgs all of that stuff these hands down are the quietest tires I've ever had. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're it's actually, always the hardest thing with money is yeah, the sound. Just the sound, it's just ridiculous. But um, on the beach, I've, I went to DI, uh, christened it. This thing's never been on the beach, went to DI, yeah. and the, I could not fault these tires. It was yeah. just, it felt like I was on a, on railway. Yeah, the way. just cut through, yep. that's a go. Yeah. All right, so what? Yeah, what is the actual suspension? So, so we got um, Kelford um, four adjustable arms up top, yep. uh, running Dobson's uh, shocks all around. Um, and then, yeah, so, so is it the lower arm you're saying that's yeah so you got the, the kit. it's a full uh bolt-in diff drop kit so oh, it's got right, a four inch yep. diff drop kit and it, yep. um it's a look, drops your lower control arms yep so then your cvs are sitting yeah, that's but the, worst thing, eh? the cvs angle. are still pretty nasty on this i want to upgrade yeah. to rcv cv shafts so. yep and has it got a front lock or anything ah uh, no that's that's the next upgrade i want to do yep. i've changed diff ratios it's got 411s in it yep um yeah so i might i want to tinker with them just mm. that little bit more just yeah, get sweet. a bit more fuel fuel economy and yeah yeah, apart from that. All right, run down the back. Still on leafs. Yeah, so she's still sitting on the leafs. Um, 
I, I, I kept the Leafs just because of the weight bearing and yeah, the towing capacity and, and stuff. Yeah. Well, it's sitting at three and a half tons, so yeah. So she's she's hit a GVM. I've did I've done a GVM upgrade and stuff like that. Yeah. So I had yep. to. And, yep. um, so they're five hundred kilo constant um, springs. Yeah, you just can't get that with coils as easily. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. 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 And it just a lot of a lot of more work running around getting yep. all that sorted. And then I just got those uh, Ranchos. Uh, I think P5000s, they're, they're the longest travel that I could get because of yep. how high it sits. Yep. And the fuel tanks are all standard still? Uh, no, so it's a um, uh, Brown Brown Davies. Yep. Yep, uh, 145 litre yeah, sweet. long range tank. Yep. And it's just the one or is it two? Just the one. Just the one, yeah. yeah that's yep. plenty. And the exhast, Legend X. Legend X all through. the way through. I've even got the two mufflers in it, so yep. it wasn't loud. Nice, it, it sounds all right, though. Yeah. It sounds good on fuel cut, too. Nice to go. <laughs> all right, that pretty much wraps it up for a little walk around. Last thing to do, we'll take this thing for a drive, see how it feels. And then we've got the four challenges. So let's hook straight into it before it starts bloody raining. I mean. Oh, look at that. So jump that, in the car, just starts itself. That's amazing. It's awesome. Yeah, bit of Justin Bieber. <laughs> Oh, Toyota handbrake kind of works. That's rare. That's not too bad, eh? <laughs> Is this a four-wheel drive or two-wheel drive? Two-wheel drive, two-wheel drive. Okay. Um, so what, the stores are like three grand or something? Yeah, three grand, I'm pretty sure. It's a, it's a big one. It's had the upgraded bearing in it and stuff yep. like that. The bonnet is high. Oh, I've left it open. That's all right. No, no, it's, it's shut. You shut it? Yeah, you I sure? Because yeah. I didn't shut it all the way. Yeah, no, I shut it. I was actually, obviously, when we're filming this today, I'm not going to go through the water and dirty your car. No, you're right. I've been, um, we actually drove this the whole way, so I've been a passenger, and it's really smooth. I did mention that to him for the weight and everything. I was like, what shocks are in this? Because it actually feels really nice, even off-road. Um, two things, number one, it's like a modern car. I'm so used to just old cars, like live axle, they just don't feel as comfy as like an IFS. And number two, he has sound dead in the whole thing, so it's super quiet, super comfortable, and it gets rid of a lot of that shake and noise. So that's, I guess, a real plus, especially if you go on touring and off-road. So yeah, that's, that's the main reason. Yeah, main, the main reason for that. Um, let's turn around here. That's a nice, oh, the brakes are spongy. He needs the old, no, we're not going left. <laughs> Mitch is like, go left. Go left. Don't go left. Don't go left. I don't want to be the first one to put this thing through the water. Straight. We'll keep going straight and come back. Yeah, but that's a good spot to do the first challenge. Anyway, put foot down. So this thing's got 300 something horsepower. Whoa! So it spools instantly. We showed that before on the gauge. Like with that converter, if the engine's able to rev up real quick and actually the thing just starts beeping. So the the red art gauge what picks out like 30 pound and this has got what 40 pounds yeah through it? 40 through it so she runs our legs pretty quick so it pulls out really quick which is nice um i was gonna say yeah the brakes you need Spongy. the bloody bendix upgrade mate uh, hopefully <laughs> hopefully upgrade it that'd be awesome you could win the competition oh, good, i'll give it a go <laughs> <laughs> but um that's just a combination obviously the bigger tires and everything oh we've got mud not really, it's just a little, oh no, you can hear it, oh. <laughs> A little bit of mud. He's so sad, this thing's never been in the mud oh, since no. you've had the paint job. Oh no. You come it's out on the sand rig run down, it's all gonna happen. Second half road. Oh, for creek crossing. Oh no. All of this. It might be a bit deep. Ah, oh, jeez. No, we can wash off all that mud. This is really comfy to drive, actually. But I will say one thing, I used to work in the mines and any Hilux I hop in, it just reminds me of work. So I don't think I could ever own one because it's just like, oh, we jump in the Hilux, go out to work. It's just like, I don't know. Like you work for two weeks. The sound of that starter motor is just embedded in my brain. It's like, <laughs> bleh. Anyway, really nice. All right, I think it's time to throw the keys back down. We'll see how it goes yep. in these challenges. We'll see what happens. We'll start it off with the sprint. We should do a sprint with the water crossing. Oh, do you want to throw it through this? This I'll will be a nice shot. There. All right. <laughs> Alrighty, time for the challenges. The best bit of the video. I should put this at the start. It's always the fun bit. So we've got four challenges. We filled up at the start of the day. So we've got economy, we've got flex, yep. which we might have to find a forklift for, maybe at your work. At the workshop, we should be able to sort that out. Karimo. Comfort challenge, which I've kind of added a new one. We'll talk about that later. Yep. But the first one we're gonna do is a sprint, so 100 Sam steps. I think it's slightly less than 100 meters because my legs are a bit shorter than a meter, I don't know. Um, I say go on four wheel drive, yep. you just put your foot down. Yep. You're in auto, so you might be pretty good. Might be um, I can't memorize the times, but up there was Jeremy Lant. Do you know him, Jeremy? No. He's got some compound turbo, Hilux, and he held the top spot for ages. Yep. Um, so I think that was like a seven something. Mm. Now we'll see what happens. But see you've got some go. pretty good traction here. It is yep. off road, yep. four wheel drive, auto. Yep. Bit of power, you should smash it. Give so. a bit of a stall and give it a go. Yeah, let's see how we go. That's let's it. Do it. Keen. We've got 
on this. All right, ready? In three, two, one, go. Oh, he's bloody sideways, I'm scared. Oh my God. Every time it blows me away and these cars come flying past. We're going to 644, not bad. And he found a washout there, probably he hit it at what, 60 k's an hour maybe? I heard it, smash! <laughs> sounded horrible going through there, eh? It just yeah. hit the was... stones. It yeah. sounded like the tray was coming yeah, off. Yeah, it sounded like everything was about to fall yeah. off. I was like, what was that? It's pretty gnarly, that was a 644. Dude, that's quick. That's not too bad. Someone recently was trying to get the top spot. I forget who it was. I yeah. think it might have been the 79 boys. Yeah. Mitch, Mitch, Matt or whatever. Well, this is the top spot. I think spot. I'm the top spot. Yeah. I, I think it might have been a 644 actually. Ooh. I don't know, I can't remember. I won't say no to that. It's 640 something. That's super fast. Automatic, that's the trick. See, mine's manual still. I left, that's I just put it in drive, stalled it, and just gone. All right, so the next challenge is the comfort challenge. So we had two different versions of this. One's like a slow flex, which we just introduced, or you could do like the fast one over a few bumps and that. So yep. it's up to you. We'll uh, just do the speed one. Or I reckon the, we'll do the speed one. Yeah. yeah, there's actually nowhere to flex around here anyway. <laughs> We're so nice we'll go find a bit of a rough road, throw a couple of bonnet on the, a couple of water on the bonnet, yep. and we'll see how she soaks up the bumps. Love oh, man. Look how perfect First that is. time it's been Bang. through mud. Looks oh, like we bad. haven't done it. All right, so the old suction cup I've had for years, hopefully still sticks. No, this has actually never fallen off anyone's bonnet. So if you, the whole thing falls off and you lose all of it, you'd be breaking at least some sort of record. <laughs> all right, so we'll set up. Obviously, it's only a speed thing, this. Distance doesn't really matter, so 50 k's an hour, and then brake. You can brake hard, you can brake soft, whatever has the least amount come out. We're at a disadvantage here because we've run out of oil. We've got Powerade. Oh, oh. We're going to get some color in this. Oh, oh yeah. Look at that. Yes. Get a mix oh. it. Oh, stop it. <laughs> there it is. That is a concoction. I think we're good. We'll run up and see him come past, see how much drops out. Roger. At least it gives you car a wash. Alrighty, so I don't know if I'm completely satisfied with the terrain here. There's a couple of bumps, but we'll see what happens. If I look like there's not much going on, we'll get him to run a bit further because there's a few more up there, so. All right. All right, let's go. Nah, I don't think there was enough bumps there. I don't think there was so enough bumps So I think we'll either. get you to go up and back because there's a few through here. Alright. So go up, do you, come back and we'll see how much is left. See how much is left from that 80 right now. Yeah, no, nah, there wasn't. There was two little bumps and it's sandy. It was it's too cute. soft. Alright, All so right, we'll, we'll see you when you come back. Turn around and come back. Burn <laughs> Look at him. That's like 70. Oh, look at him. Yeah, that was all good. Stay at 50, stay at 50. That's like, was it 60? <laughs> yeah, it's about 60. Yeah, holy smokes. I averaged about 60 on the on the road. I thought so, I'd give it a bit more. Yeah, we, you definitely said it. It felt like you were doing like 70. That's all right, <laughs> he was trying to get it out. I was the milkshake was shaking. <laughs> all right, 60%, there's probably nowhere near on the board, but that's all right. We've um, we kind of stuffed this challenge up because it was just too smooth and then he just literally sent it. So we're, <laughs> we're done. <laughs> we're done. All right, so we're doing the uh, flex challenge now. So we've got a forklift to make things so much more easy. And um, back wheel as usual, and we'll just measure shorter from the bottom of the tire down to the ground once the front wheel starts coming up, so. Sounds like a plan. You've never fully flexed this thing out, have you? Nah, I don't know how it's gonna go, so <laughs> we'll find out. Yep. Yeah, that'll do. Not very high. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's IFS. It's cute. Cute. 640 mil. 640 mil, which is, you might be on the leaderboard, but I don't know about breaking records. As long as I'm just, just, just <laughs> touching that. We had a couple of boys cool. go over a meter, so. But for IFS, it's pretty good. So 640. Last thing you do, we'll go to a survey and fill up and see what the economy is. We reset the Odo at the start of the day, so a bit of off-roading, bit of road driving, whatever. And um, then we'll hit the leaderboard, see what's up. It's gonna click like instantly. Oh, that's five bucks. 6.18 litres. 6.18, 28.6. Is that right? Yeah. 21 litres per 100. She's a drinker. Are you sure you can't get more either? You've been driving it hard. Actually, if you put more in that, it'll make it worse. Make it worse, it should have went less. 21.6 litres per 100, not bad. 
<laughs> yeah, 21.6. All right, let's go to the leaderboard and see how she stands up. All right, guys, welcome to the Band X Freak Rundown leaderboard. Before we get cracking into that, I obviously promise you at the start of the episode that you can win a Bendix Ultimate Break Upgrade Kit. Um, just like the other videos we've done, it's very easy. Jump onto their Instagram, find the post um, of the Hilux on the page. All you do is drop a comment in that photo and let the guys know what car you've got. It's that easy to win a kit. We've had a bunch of them given away already and a few guys have messaged me, they're super stoked with it. Number two with Bendix, if you're heading down to Bathurst, I think it's this weekend, Bendix are gonna be there. If you are there, post a photo up, uh, if you use hashtag alt full drive, you actually go on the draw to win one of 30 uh, special Bendix ice boxes. Super cool cooler box, keep your beers cold. Um, super easy to win them as well. So if you're down Bathurst, check that out. Let's go into this leaderboard and see how the highlights stacked up. Alrighty guys, we're starting off with the sprint challenge. I was really surprised with this. It is automatic, but it's also got a ton of power for a highlights. And she did a 644, which believe it or not, put him in third position. The only cars that beat him was the Cummins Power Patrol and obviously my patrol. So it's taken the top spot. It was actually held by Jeremy's Hilux as well. I think that was a compound turbo setup. Just pipped him on that. So really awesome result there. Um, next we did the comfort challenge now. This one went a bit hectic. We didn't have enough even ground and then ended up doing like 60 k's an hour and, and a ton came out. Got 60%, um, which is the same as my patrol. Nothing special there. Didn't quite make it on the leaderboard. Moving on to the flex challenge. This was interesting. So we did a 640 mil um, flex. Now this is ninth position, which is like on the leaderboard. It is last, but it is the only IFS car that's made on the flex challenge. All the rest are a live axle. So. It's made it on there with IFS, it was a pretty damn good result for an IFS vehicle, but having H 8 inch lift might have something to do with it. The last one was obviously the economy challenge. This one was crazy for a diesel four cylinder, 21 liters per hundred. That actually put him in last place. Not real good economy, but we were booting it everywhere. I'm not gonna lie. So that is it for the leaderboard for this Hilux. If you wanna check out more, jump on his Instagram and have a look. Otherwise, see you guys in the next Rig Rundown episode. Thanks for watching. They say the definition of subscribe is to arrange to receive something, typically a publication, regularly by paying in advance. Please arrange to receive something, typically a publication, regularly by paying in advance by clicking the button below.